Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we're taking a look at Primer, basically because it's just had a, an update which fixed the fact that in standalone mode, which this is, it was only in one channel. So here we go. We now have it in both channels. So let's have a mess around with the sound while we're here. Um, I'm going to, this was a patch that originally started as a gate plucky trigger. Got to be careful how you say that. Plucky trigger. So we're going to have a, a, a play around with that sound. Okay. So, oh, well, let's I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, let's see what the, um, what the, this is how it was. So it's monophonic. So the first thing I did was change the voices to uh, five, five foot. Let's see. So, ah, no. You see, this is the mistake I made last time, right? So I'm going to, like, poly, polyphonic. Got to go into polyphonic, and then it'll be, it's on five voices because I've just selected five voices. And then, uh, first of all, I'm going to turn off the LFO here. I'm going to turn that off for now. And... I'm going to take up the cut off a little bit and I'm going to favor uh, oscillator one. So I really like that. I'm going to take the amp envelope down, the release time down just a tiny bit here. I'm going to leave the delay as it is. But what I'm going to do is open the spread. Mmm, nice, lovely, lovely. So, uh, but let's just have a quick listen to Oscillator 2 now. I actually quite like that. Uh, might like that better. And I'm going to just have a little bit of that in. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So now I'm going to... I'm going to change that uh, wave shape there in the LFO. I'm going to change that to pulse. And I'm also going to set this back to cutoff for now. So <clears throat> because of the way the sound is, I can play it. It's like I've more or less made it into a plucky type sound, so we can play it quickly. But if we hold our... our, our our uh, chord down or note down now, the LFO is going to kick it. Let's have it on poly as well. Okay, so let's do some of the cool. So we, we can actually, if we, if we, that's nice. So let's have a mess around with the modulation envelope. Always good for laugh. Just let me get a quick, a quick cup of coffee. Quick swig, a quick swig of coffee. <clears throat> Right. Okay. So let's have a look, mess around with the um, the mo the modulation envelope. So let's uh, open our drop down menu. Let's set it to the pitch of oscillator two because that's nice and um, that's kind of in the background a bit, isn't it? And 
let's do this. Let's have a quite a long decay. And that, we'll start with a fast attack. <laughs> down a little tiny bit. I wonder. So now. That sounds pretty cool. Let's, I wonder what happens if I set the pitch, the destination to FM. And let's drive up the FM a little bit. Let's take the amount. Um, what happened with that? Let's set the amount higher. Not sure that's doing anything, that'll be me. So let's set it, so the modulation, I can turn FM down. Let's set the modulation envelope to pitch in general. Now this is where you can start to get some very cool stuff. Let's switch off the, um, so we're not getting the pulse. Leave it on poly. This is on really high. Let's set the amount. Give me, let's set the amount. It's because I keep hitting primary. Let's set the amount. It gets woofed. <laughs> let's set the amount to full. Um, yeah, this should sound pretty good. Let's let's drive. Let's have it central set it now. Central set it. Yeah, hey, that was. If any news a beginner out there, central setters is a, is a legitimate synthesizer term. It's 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 a term most professionals use. Center set that one. Center set it. I am stupid. Right, so here we go. Let's. Uh, oh, I don't know how this is going to go, but it should be cool. It will go down again in a sec. Now, if you take your fingers off quick, it's good. It'll hold on its on its on its pitch key. But otherwise, if you wait too long, it will go back up again. Now, what was wrong with that sound? It was too dull. So I think <clears throat> we'll drive. No, actually, 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 actually. Let me just for a sec now sort this out. Let me put some uh, uh, envelope in. Let me have the attack. I'll have the attack really slow as well, and the decay actually. And I'll have that set. So what this is going to do now, the filter envelope is going to, from this point of the cutoff, is going to open the cutoff very, very slowly. Which is nice, which is what we want. Although we could, you know, make it open very quickly if we wanted to. We don't want to do that. I want this. And then I'm going to stick with the modulation the modulation envelope on pitch of both. And now as as it goes, as it, as it kind of goes up, as the, the attack comes up for the pitch as well, so it's driving the pitch up as well, it will slowly be opening the filter at the same time. This should be super cool. Uh, let's see. That was the beans. That was very cool beans. I do love modulation envelope and pitch pitch modulation. Now we can even go. We can go, let's 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 go completely nuts, eh? 
Here we have uh, it's four, on four voice units, and that's fine. That'll go. Um, let's where's our our um, our portmanteau? Right, here. <laughs> let's turn the portmanteau up. Let's switch our modulation. <laughs> Um, and let's have it on a oh sa oh oh sample and hold sample and hold. And let's have that a really high. I have no, absolutely no idea how this will sound, but it's good fun. So sample and hold. The pitch has been affected on oscillator two. So we can listen to oscillator two on its own. So let's let's set uh let's set no I can't can I right okay I'm gonna set the pitch just to oscillator two I'm going to oh I can't set that to oscillator one oh never mind it doesn't matter and so what happens now if I just do that let's get out of it again let's twist it again I need to go back into here. Let's put some noise in as well, eh? Add some sub oscillator while we're here. Am I can I what's it with this? Yeah. Oh that's ooh. Gone on long enough. Anyway, the whole the whole point of the of the of the exercise was really to show that in standalone mode now. Don't forget this is AUBT. The most important thing that this is completely one hundred percent and utterly completely free. Okay, so you know you've got nothing to lose by downloading it. It was originally designed to teach you about synths and stuff, so you can go to pay for the course, which is well worth it. I think many many people uh, really think it's great. But by hitting learn synthesis, you can go go to, go and find out all about that as well. So it's very cool. So there, you, there you go, guys. There's a lot. What happens if we just turn unison off? Doesn't sound quite as good, does it? And let's do one more thing. Let's set this to the pitch of both. And yeah. Very sci fi. Or to the pulse width. be messing around all day guys listen if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel please consider becoming a patron or making a one-off donation massively even a couple of dollars you know patron is amazing it's you know from one dollar a month if you want to pledge one dollar a month you know you get full access to everything that's there listen uh there's links in the description for all that stuff anyway thank you for watching there we go primer primer AUV 3 synth completely free see you guys later ta -da.